Right in- oh, look at that, you guys. One shot to a helmeted head will kill these guys with these arrows and with my level 3 bow. everybody to subsistence i am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are preparing for an all-out raid on all of our enemies um and we are doing some cooking so yeah preparing for war and cooking those two things go hand in hand um and they actually do have uh, done so in history too because you know you got to feed your army or uh, it isn't gonna perform very well uh so yeah that is uh, what we're ha uh, um, out of the middle. Okay, try that again. That is what we're about today. <laughs> Come on, mouth work. Uh, so, yeah, I've uh, just finished a very long uh, work week in real life, um, and we had a, I had a big event that I had to do tech support for. Um, so, uh, oh, we got company coming in. Look at that. Look at that. Here, let's uh, let's hit them with our our good arrows here. Just saw him over there. Now get out of the water. When he gets down in the water, it's harder to hit him. Come on. Pop up. And you dead. Okay. Is he the only one? Uh, no. I see more coming. Okay. So let's grab the loots. Loot skis. Yeah. I see two more coming. Uh, I'm going to say this is alpha because it looks like... They're coming from the alpha direction, I think. Um, so, okay, let's dispatch these guys. And then, uh, like I said, we're working on cooking. Uh, so we're cooking up a bunch of, of stuff here. Right? In, oh, look at that, you guys. One shot to a helmeted head will kill these guys with these arrows and with my level 3 bow. That is just amazing. 
Okay. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's get his stuff here. Oh, good. We got a magnum run out of that deal. Shotgun shells are always welcome. Who doesn't want more shotgun shells? Okay, let's just chill for a second. Yeah, one... <laughs> One shot to a helmeted head, man, with these arrows. It's, these arrows are just a beast. Uh, you know, these uh, premium arrows plus, you know, and we have, of course, like I said, a level three bow upgrade too. Okay, cool. We got those guys in the act. They didn't even scratch our base. In fact, I don't know. Did they even scratch us? Yeah, it looks like we might have gotten hit once there. Um, I need to think about repairing my vest here too. So let's just uh, be vigilant because usually... When Alpha attacks, Bravo attacks not too far behind or vice versa. Uh, and Charlie seems to attack separately from them these days. Uh, but a secondary goal of attacking all three of them on the same day is to, is to hopefully to get the cycle back to where they all attack me at the same time. Um, and the reason I want that to happen is that that way you know once that attack is finished then i then i have you know a couple couple three days or so of peace before they the next cycle and that means i can kind of plan around that and go out and do the looting and stuff um so yeah that's uh that's the deal with those dudes so like i said we'll be vigilant and keep our eyes open for uh additional attacks and uh, we're working on cooking today, like I said, and just preparing for our uh, raid, which uh, hopefully we can, we'll be ready to do in the next episode. All right, so I am at that point too, by the way, uh, in our playthrough here, you know, where we are making uh, food. We have a, a surplus now of food, and so we're making it and keeping it in the fridge, and it really feels good to, to finally get to that point in this game. It's taken me about two years to get to, you know, two in-game years to get to this point, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so I've got some more soups in here. So, so far, what we've done is I've made 10 steak and eggs. I've made 10 tomato soups. Uh, the next thing on the agenda is we're going to make some liver and onions. And I want to work on... I want to work on um, some jams and chutneys, too. What am I doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My brain is just... Ugh. It's been a long week, you guys. <laughs> it's been a long week. No, that doesn't go in there. It goes in here. Holy cow, man. All right. Turn that back on. Uh, the thing about the the chutneys and the jams and and you know is that requires jars and jars takes power and mass to make, uh, which is kind of a, a bit of a nuisance. So you go in there, uh, you go in there, and, and I I need to I need to make some more glass now too. I've I've got plenty of sandstone to do that. It's just you know it takes time, but I want to get the I want to prioritize our our raid first. Let's put these, um, actually, no, those can go straight into here. Ah, shoot. I should have actually waited, but okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It was close enough. Okay, we also have over 300 nails, which is good because that means, oh, we have a full stack of these now too. So let's turn all of these into, how are we doing on rope? Yeah, we got, we're good on rope. Let's turn all these into Presto logs. Um... Oh, crap. What was I saying? <laughs> it's early in the morning on Sunday, and I'm just, uh, I'm, an, I'm not fully awake. I guess I, I need to drink another three cups of coffee or something. Any hoozle. Um, I, I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. So, yeah, we're doing stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, let's grab those, and let's grab these and these. And we're gonna make another grenade. There's the, I did make one jar, looks like. Okay, so let's make another grenade. Now, one of you guys told me, um, actually gals told me, so that's my, my good friend Terry Lynn, uh, told me that the uh, grenade arrows will actually one-shot a wooden door. And 
if that's the case, uh, we're, you know, we're going to test that. It's not that I don't believe her, but, you know, what if I, you know, misfire or something? But that being the case, I should say, um, they, you know, these aren't that much more expensive to make than just grenades. Well, they are because they take an arrow, but to me, uh, with the time savings and whatnot, it's worth it to expend a premium arrow if I can one-shot a wooden door. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Maybe I should just, like, go back to bed, get up in a couple more hours, get a little more sleep, and then restart this recording. I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to take advantage of this entire day to get some recording and stuff done because i got to go right back to work again tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, at least I have a job, right? Got to be thankful. Okay, so let's um, put that back down there. And, all right, we're done with that. Now, I think the next batch of food I want to make is a, is a, a 10 stack of liver and onions. In fact, let's eat that one right now just because we need to. And, oh, you know what we could do? Uh, well, I kind of don't want to... I want to store these. I was I was gonna say I was gonna say I could eat those to get a jar back, but that doesn't make sense because then we're gonna just turn around and make it again. So yeah, let's work on liver and onions next. So we want five or I'm sorry, ten of those, ten of those, and yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, we're short on just a tiny bit of power there. That's okay. It'll come back in just a bit. Um. So that'll give us 10 steak and eggs, this is pure protein, 10 tomato soups, this is pure fruits and vegetables, and then of course the liver and onions gives us a little bit of both. Um, so we can use that, you know, to, to top off or whatever. And then, you know, the next thing after that, of course, will be to start working on jams and chutneys. So that's kind of where we're at with all of this. Um, why don't we... Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Now, um, let's take a look and see if there's any more enemies coming. Nope. So far, so good. Uh, we need a new chicken. Uh, so I butchered our level 10 chicken. We have a level 9 and a level, 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 level 6 over there. Uh, all the crops have been replanted. It's probably time, though, to rewater them. I've got all the canteens in my... In my own inventory because I'm using them for cooking. Um, I'm not going to fertilize, keep fertilizing these for the for the time being because I want to save my ash and potassium for making gunpowder. So, do we have enough power to make this? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good. All right, now let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? I haven't looked in here for a while. Yeah, we got 15 iron. At some point, I'm probably going to either make another one of those. Well, I am definitely going to make another one of those because I want to get our our water production going again. We better get this onion back in the fridge before it spoils. Okay. And we have eight whole chickens, but... As I've mentioned to you guys before, I'm I'm not I'm no longer eating the the really big meals. Uh, I'm saving those for you know if we die again, then we can use the big meals to get our health cap back up to max again as quickly. Uh, so that's why I'm making the you know what I I like to kind of refer to as the mid middle grade food, and that'll be kind of like our everyday food, but better than just eating you know just a steak or a tomato by itself. Oh, we just use the water from from that. Okay, so I think what we should do is go out and about and just do a little kind of nearby looting session while we're waiting for stuff to cook and whatnot. I don't want to get too far away from the base because A, we could get another attack, and B, we have to stay close enough to pull this food out when it's done so it doesn't go bad on us. All right, so we'll put those in there. Let's put this in here. I'm going to put all of the canteens in here for the time being, except for why don't we get a jam going too? So let's see, we need blueberries, rose hips, and strawberries. And 
yeah, let's get another jam crafting whilst we're out and about with that one jar that we have. And put that in there, that in there. Oh, I want to top off our fire so they keep doing ash for us. So let's do that with these presto logs. You don't have any fat in there, do you? No, okay. Um, take this and top this off. Do I have enough to make another gunpowder? I should, maybe even two more. So let's do that now. Got a storm coming in. Uh, no, we'd have enough power. Uh, no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm making gunpowder, that's what I'm doing, okay. At least the gunpowder doesn't require power and mass to make. Okay, store that stuff down there. And that's just about finished. We'll stick that in there. We do need to eat, though, man. Um, okay, well, that's what this is for, right? We're going to have one of those and one of those. And that should get us... Pretty close. Uh, you know what? Let's just eat a tomato to, to top that all the way off. Okay, good. That gets us the fruit and fruits and vegetables that we need. And uh, we need some water, too. So let's drink you and you. And we'll go fill these canteens up. And have them cooking again. Nice weather we're having here today. How's the chickens doing, by the way? Um, they could stand. Let's give them some water and we'll throw another tomato or two in there. Just to keep them nice and topped off. I'm just going to keep this in here for now. I'll put it in the crop plots later. Now, we need to... We should repair our thingy there. So what do we need for this? Um, sinew, cotton, and iron. So sinew, cotton. I almost have a hundred cotton there. That's awesome. Iron. Repair. Everything else is actually in pretty good shape. Alright, put the sinew back there, the cotton back here. I have more cotton plants planted as well. Put this in here. Okay. So, let's do one last check uh, out here. And, oh, you know what else I need to do is I need to turn these off. I always forget. I wish we had, like, a daylight, you know, timer kind of thing in the game where the lights go on automatically at night and turn off during the day. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Okay, nobody's coming, so we're good to go. Uh, our base should be 100% repaired. Um, so even if we do get attacked now while we're out and about, it will, uh, not be a, not be that big of a deal. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. I have no lockpicks on me, which is fine because, again, I'm trying to save my resources for these. Now, um, let's see, we got 24 gunpowder there. How much do I have here? Not quite enough yet to make the next grenade. What I want is... I want to make, in fact, we could do this, we could do this right now. So we just need four cordage. Okay, so let's get four cordage. I'm surprised that doesn't take power and mass. I, I'm glad that it doesn't, but I'm just surprised that it doesn't. Okay, so now we have a breaching charge for Charlie, and we have two grenade-tipped arrows for Alpha and Bravo. The thing is, though, is that Charlie still has uh, three more doors, I think. Yeah, three more doors that we have to break down uh, inside. And using a grenade-tipped arrow in those close quarters, especially for one in particular that I'm thinking of, might not be safe for us. So I'd like to have, you know, a couple extra grenades for that. And then hopefully... What we'll do is we'll raid Al uh, Bravo first, then we'll hit Alpha, and then we'll head over to Charlie. And hopefully in the raiding of Alpha and Bravo, we'll pick up a couple more grenades, too, to help, you know, break down the interior doors of Charlie's base. Uh, so we're getting close. We're getting close. I just want to have maybe two... Did I just hear something? Uh, besides thunder? No. 
Uh, I just want to have two more grenades. Just grenades without, not the arrow tipped ones. Before we start the raid tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go out, do a little bit of uh, kind of quick nearby harvesting and looting. We'll grab you out of here. So we have um, five more of those to go, and then uh, we don't have to worry about the jam because the jam won't spoil. Uh, but I just don't want to get too far away with uh, the liver and onions because you know I don't I don't know how old the livers themselves were, and, I, and once you put that into here to cook, I don't know if that still matters or not. But uh, let's just assume that it does, and we don't want to get too far away. Okay, we're good, right? Yep, we're good on food, water, all that kind of stuff. And now we're just going to go out and do some some looting. Um, and I, I don't know if I'm going to cut wood. We're, we're doing pretty good on wood. We've got a full stack, almost two full stacks, in fact. And I think I've got somewhere close to 100 planks. Actually, I should have looked at that. Yeah, I'm not, I, I guess I'm not sure about how many planks I have, but... Yeah, let's just make this a, a looting session and not a harvesting session so much. I'm loving these uh, premium arrows, man, and my level 3 bow. It's just awesome. Especially that we can one-shot a helmeted hunter if you hit him in the head. And eventually, you know, we'll be able to upgrade the bow to tier 4 when we blow Charlie's base up and get the advanced weapon parts. And then, can you imagine how tough it's going to be then? <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Okay. I'm going to leave the rabbit be. I'm not don't really want to do a lot of hunting right now. Let's just do some gathering or well, yeah, gathering and looting. So you get to live for now, Peter Rabbit. Peter Cottontail. Okay, we do have a wolf over that way. I think we can avoid him. The storms are always really dangerous because you can't hear. Okay, he senses us, but he doesn't know where we are, so let's just keep running this way. Let's go to our arch. And since we don't have any lock picks on us, we're probably going to find two locked crates in this area. Can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, there's one right there, of course. Let's see if we can find another lock crate in this area. I was telling uh, my friend Maruski in the comments, she was saying she has a hard time finding locked crates, and I said, just come to this arch, man. This arch is so productive for locked crates. And like I said, you know, sometimes I find two in the, in this vicinity. All right, we got a level three there, but I want to get that potassium. Can we sneak in and grab that without him protecting us? Let's get this ready just in case. Uh, yeah, he's coming this way. All right, come here, you bastard. Kind of actually didn't want to waste a premium arrow on him, but it happened too quick. It happened too quick. Oh, man, I got to upgrade or repair my bow, too. Yikes. Okay, we got to keep an eye on that. Got to keep an eye on that. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, this is actually iron. No, iron's good, too. I mean, we always, always, without exception, need iron. It's just a fact of life in this game. There's another iron. Oh, level one wolf. Okay, so him, let's switch back to just a normal arrow, and we're going to go like this, and then we're going to, oh, I don't have my, whoops, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll go like that. I don't have my nine mil on me. That's right, I put it away because I ran out of, I ran out of bullets. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to get that back on the inventory. I like to save the magnum for combat, but... Like I said, I mean, I ran out of 9 mil bullets because I've been using them for hunting so much that I ended up putting it away and put the magnum in its place. 
And that makes for kind of expensive hunting. I don't want to use magnum rounds to kill wolves. Normal arrows and 9 mil bullets are my two go-tos for hunting. Let's go back this way. See if we can. There is a bear over here we're going to have to be careful of. Yeah, he's right there. Um, and he's a level 1. Can we... Can we one-shot a level one with our premium arrows? I can't remember. How many do I have left? I've got seven left. Um, our next... Our next... Item... Equipment that we're going to make after our raid... Is going to be... Nope. Can't quite one-shot a level one bear with these arrows. Which means they they do less than 180 damage. Uh, at least on critters. Maybe they have a bonus against humans or something. Hey, we got a, a decent amount of uh, resources from him. Yeah, so the next thing we're going to make is the are, are the climbing picks. And I'm hoping, you know, we need eight ingots for that. So I'm hoping we, you know, come away from our raid with... At least some of those ingots. And then we'll make the climbing picks because it's about time for us to head back down to the caves. And then, of course, with the climbing picks, we'll even be able to go down to the lava cave. Now, we're going to need to make an outpost down there, too. Um, and I'm just trying to decide if I want to do that first before we go into the lava caves. We probably should. And what we might even end up doing is making an outpost on both ends of the entrance to the lava cave. In season one, I made one at the south entrance, but I didn't make one at the north entrance. So this time around, I'm, I'm tentatively planning on doing that. There's a level three bear. We definitely don't want to waste ammo on that guy. It's just not not something I want to do right now. Well, this is turning out to be more of a hunting session than a, a looting session. So if that's the case, let's just keep on hunting. I haven't seen a single crate except for that lock crate. And we actually, I need, we need to start working our way back to the base because I still have five more liver and onions that we've got to pull out of the oven. And we don't want those to go bad on us. No siree. I'm just using regular arrows on these guys because I, I don't want to use... Our higher level ammo, but uh, we will get, uh, how many more of these do I have? Four, okay. We Oh, you know what? We need a chicken too. Okay, let's save the last two arrows for a chicken. So yeah, I guess this turned out to be a hunting run instead of a, a looting run. <laughs> we have to take what the game decides to give us you know um here is some scrap okay we'll pick that up oh there's a there's a building crate awesome let's grab that nice we got eight nails out of that yeah let's go this way we're kind of right behind charlie's base so we don't want to get too close to them we'll be getting close to them very soon don't worry charlie Let's go up through this way to avoid Mr. Level 3 Bear there. Uh, let's see. We want to save uh, the rest of our, our arrows for a couple of shots at a chicken because we got to... Okay, and there's one right there. Did he see us? Yeah, he did. All right, that's okay. He's going to stop right up here. Uh, where, there you are. Okay. Where'd you go? Nope. He, we killed him. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll run into one more on the way back.
I've mentioned this before, but for those of you who may not know, whenever you shoot a chicken, if it cackles, then that means he's still alive. If he doesn't make any noise at all, <clears throat> or he makes that that little grunting sound that the last one I just killed made, then that means you've killed him. Looks like we have a bear on the shore up here and a deer. We don't need we don't need to kill deers. I've got um, a lot of antlers, and I still haven't needed to make adhesive yet. <laughs> you get a lot of adhesive from lock crates. Up to ten nails. It's getting dark. So we'll go back, get our liver and onions out, and then uh, see where we're at. Actually, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at our recording time, we're just about at the 30 minute mark. And so I think what I'm gonna do is let you guys go here I'm going to finish the preparation uh, that we need, and first thing in the morning, we'll start the next episode, and we're going to raid all three hunters on the same day. So, with that being said, thank you everybody for hanging out today on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, oh look at this, now we need two chickens. Come here buddy, come here, time for you to graduate. There we go. More resources for us. Let's get these uh, uh, get these lights on in case we get an attack. They help quite a bit. Okay. Oh, one of you guys were telling me to put a put the light up on the ceiling oh you know what we could do here let's try this I know I'm, I'm like completely ruining my outro huh what if we put it right here it's cut whoa it looks like it's I don't know what it's doing oh yeah that works pretty good that works pretty darn good. Look how well that lights things up in here. All right. Thank you for that tip. Don't remember who told me that off the top of my head, but you know who you are. Really appreciate it. Um, very nice tip. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Anyways, um, we. <laughs> oh, crap. We lost some. Damn it, Jim. Uh, no, we didn't. Wait. Did we? Yeah, I think we lost. I think we lost one, because didn't they have five in there? Well, we still recovered four. Okay, well, ah, that kind of sucks, but is what it is, I guess, right? Well, let's get you in there, and you in there, and you in there. Uh, I'm actually going to make another one, because I'm, I need to eat it myself, and that way we can uh, still have our stack of ten of those. Oh, man, that sucks, though. Okay, let's butcher you... And anyway, all right, yeah, so um, I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. I think the spoil timers are s too fast in this game. I know, I'm just saying that. Sour grapes, but I really do, and so does just about everybody else who's talked to me about that particular thing. Anyway, all right, I'm going to let you go here, and um, if all goes well, first thing in the morning, bright and early, we're going to head out and raid... Alpha, no, Bravo first, Alpha second, and Charlie. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. I think I already said that. And I'm leaving now. Bye.